Welcome to my channel and let's look at how to find determinant of higher order matrices. So we begin with uh, finding determinant of a three by three matrix and then we generalize this knowledge to higher order square matrices. So for example, I look at how to find determinant of four by four matrix. And then you, you understand that it's just the same way so we just generalize the knowledge that we'll have acquired in a three by three matrix. So look at an example. Let A be this matrix, find that A. That means find the determinant of A. Now, so I found the determinant here. These two vertical lines are I'll use them as a command to find the determinants. So these two vertical lines means find determinant. So you can see how we use them. It means find the determinant of this three by three matrix. So the, the formula is that I'll take this element here, this element one, and multiply it by a matrix of uh, the determinant multiplied by the determinant of a matrix that remains when I delete the row that one is in, that is row one, and delete the column of one. So when I delete the row of one and the column of one, the matrix that is left is three, five, seven, six. So I've taken this element one and multiplied by that the determinant of that matrix that remains on deleting row one and the deleting row two. And then the next thing will be minus two, <clears throat> minus two multiplied by the determinant of the matrix that matrix that remains, the determinant of the matrix that remains when I delete the row of two and the column of two. So on deleting the row of two and the column of two, the matrix that is left is two, five, three, six. Two, five, three, six. So it's minus two times the determinant of that matrix. And then plus three times the determinant of the matrix that is left. When I delete the row of three, and the column of three. So when I did the row of three and the column of three, <clears throat> the matrix that is left is this two, three, three, seven. So this is supposed to be three, not one. This is supposed to be three. Now, so one may ask, where am I getting the signs plus, minus, plus, and so on? So the signs are given by negative one raised to i plus j, where i and j, where i, j is the position of that element. This i is the column of that element, and j is, no, i is the row of that element, and j is the column of that element. For instance, element one here, what sign should I use? So what element one is in row one, column one. So the sign that I should use should be negative one raised to one plus one, which is negative one raised to two, negative one raised to two, and this would be plus, this should be a positive sign, should be a positive sign. When I raise negative one to two, the sign will be positive. What about here? What about here? Two, element two. What is what, what sign shall I use? So I should take negative one, raise two. This element two is in row one, column two. And so you notice that this is negative one, raise to three. So the sign will be negative. So that's why I have negative two. 
What about here? Why do I have positive three? So I go to where three is, and three is in row one, column three. So the sign will be negative one raised to row one plus column three. So this is negative one raised to an even number, and the sign will be positive. So that's why you can see a positive there. So what that means again is that these signs will be alternating. So we begin with a positive sign, then go to a negative sign, then a positive sign, then negative sign, positive sign, negative sign, and so on. Even you can go downwards. If this is positive, this will be negative sign, positive sign, negative sign, positive sign, and so on. Now, so in this example, we found the determinant of this matrix along the first row, along the first row. So we just proceed, this will be one, multiplied by this determinant minus two, multiplied by this determinant plus three, multiplied by this determinant. What is this determinant? This is 18 minus that five. And that's what I have here, one, multiplied by 18 minus that five, then minus two. The determinant here is 12 minus 15. 12 minus 15. And this is 14 minus nine. So that's what I have. Using your calculator, you find this determinant to be four. Now, so what this means again is that we can find the determinant of this matrix along any row and along any column. So look at this. We found it along row one. You can also decide to find along row two or along column one or along column two. So let's try and do it along column one. Along column one, you notice that this will be positive, the same positive, the same be positive, negative, positive. So what we did is that we take the element one, this one, multiplied by the determinant of the matrix that is left when I delete the row of one and the column of one. So when I delete the row of one, the column of one, the matrix that is left is three, five, and then seven, six. Then the next sign is negative and the element is two. Negative and the element is two. So what happens when I delete the row of two and the column of two? The matrix that is left is two, three, seven, six. Then the next sign was positive, negative, positive, a positive three. What happens when I delete the row of three and the column of three? What matrix do I remain with? So deleting the row of three and the column of three, I'm left with two, three and three, five, three, five. So this will give us the determinant of that matrix. And remember I've said that we can find this determinant along any row and along any column. We only need to know the signs. So let's see, this will be 30 minus that five, which is five. 30 minus that five, which is negative 35, multiplied by this one to be negative, to be negative five. If I multiply by this one, I still get negative five. Then what about this? This would be, there's a negative two here, multiplied by, this is 12 minus 21. 12 minus 21. Then plus three, multiplied by, this is 10 minus nine. 10 minus nine. This would be, was 18. This was 18. Oh, this is not correct here. This is not correct here. This was 18 minus 35. I don't know why I found the negative 5. That was not correct. 
does not correct. So this was minus two. So this is 18 minus that five, that's correct now. And this is 12 minus one. And this is 10 minus nine. And so what is, what is 18 minus 35? This is seven, negative 17. It's negative 17. What about nine? No, 12 minus 21, this is negative nine. Negative nine times negative two, be plus 18. Plus 18, and this is one times three, which will be three. So this is one plus three, which is four. So you can see, you can find, we have found it again, along the first column. So you can even do it along the second column and you still get the same result. Now, there's another way for a three by three matrix, another easier way of finding a, a de determinant of a three by three matrix. And this is the alternative way that I've shown. Now, this alternative way, what I did was, I wrote the matrix that I was given here. This is the matrix that I was given. One, two, three, two, three, five, three, seven, six, eight. That's the matrix that I was given. Let me just confirm, let's confirm. Matrix that we were supposed to find the determinant. Yes, one, three, one, two, three, two, three, five, three, seven, six. Two, three, five, three, seven, six. As a, as a matrix that we're given. Now, so you take that matrix, you write it here, I've written that matrix here, and then I've taken these two columns. These two columns, I've added them here. So you add these two columns here. And then you notice that there'll be three columns, this, no, these three diagonals running from left to right. There'll be these three diagonals running from left to right. You multiply along these diagonals and add the result. So you can see I've, I've written here plus, plus, plus. So when I multiply this diagonal, I get 18. Then along this diagonal, I get 30. Along this diagonal, I get 42. Then this, these are the three diagonals running from right to left. These are the three diagonals running from right to left. You multiply along these diagonals and subtract the result. So you can see I've written here minus, minus, minus. So when I multiply along this diagonal, this will be four times six, which is 24. My, so I subtract it and this will be 35. I subtract it and this will be 27. I subtract it. So when I do the whole of this, I get four as the determinant. So for a three by three matrix, this method will work. This method will work for a three by three matrix. But the earlier method would work for any other square matrix. It would work for three by three, it would work for four by four, it would work for five by five, and so on. Now, so we have this other example. We want to find the determinant. This is still a three by three matrix. So I want to use the two methods and see that the two methods work for this matrix and for any other matrix. So we begin with the first method. And I want to find it along the first column. I want to find it along the first column. <clears throat> so you remember the sign of the positive, negative, positive. And, but for this element, you see this is negative here. So this will be negative. This will So you notice that 
this sign here, just as we had said earlier, these signs are positive, negative, positive. So if this is positive, negative, then this will be positive and this will be negative and so on. So if this is positive, then this will be negative and this will be positive. So <clears throat> that's, that's how the, match, the, the signs go. And we say they, they just alternate. So that is the knowledge we have. And therefore, we want to do it along the first column. So it will be positive, as we have already said, positive, negative, positive. So the limit there is one. And then the determinant of the matrix, the determinant of the matrix that it remains, when I delete the row of one and the column of one, that matrix is two, negative two, negative one, two. And that's the matrix I have. Then let me just add the next one, but you know that anything multiplied by zero will be zero. So, but let's just put it negative zero and delete the row of zero and the column of zero. And what you have left is two, negative one, negative one, two, as I have. And then next is sign is positive. And so positive one, delete the row of one and the column of one. You have two negative one, two negative two. So that's what I'm left with. Now multiply this, this will be four, four minus three, no, minus two, four minus two. And this will be zero, nothing multiplied by zero will be zero. So there's no need of multiplying inside here. This will be negative four plus two. So when I do this, I find that this matrix has a determinant of zero. Now let's look, use the other method and see whether it works. And we said it will work for any three by three matrix. So for that other method, I want to write the matrix here and add the first two. <clears throat> columns here. So the first column is this and the second column is that add. Then I identify these three <clears throat> diagonals running from left to right and multiply along these diagonals as we add the results. So this will be 4 minus 4 plus 0. And this other one will be negative 0 I began from I began from here, there's no problem. I began from here. So this would be negative two. So when I subtract negative two, I get positive two. And then this would be <coughs> positive two, subtract it. And this would be zero, subtract it. So when I do this, I get four. Now I get a zero as the determinant of this matrix. And so that is how we find the determinant of matrices of higher order. <clears throat>